Paul tells us here where we're talking about the power of God to establish us. And there's a, there's a power that, that, that can establish us in accordance to the commandment. Look at what he says there at the end of verse 26. He says, uh, But now is made manifest and by the scriptures of the prophets according to the commandment of the everlasting God made known to all nations for the obedience of faith. And so there, there is something that's in accordance to the commandment of the everlasting God that he's made known to all nations for the obedience of faith. And Paul here is talking about this power of God to establish us according to this everlasting commandment. And he gives you an order here. This is, how, this is how the power of God to establish you is going to operate. Number one, you have to be established according to to what Paul says is my gospel. Right? Y'all see that? That means a Christian that's not established in accordance to what Paul refers to as my gospel is not an established Christian. Yeah. Right. Amen? But what I'm telling you is this, is that Romans through Galatians is where Paul establishes you according to that gospel. Amen? Then he says... And the preaching, and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to what? Yeah, well, y'all read the passage. So there's a preaching of Christ according to the revelation of the mystery. Which was what? Well, what, what was it before it was made known? It was kept secret since the world began. You see that? I show a Christian, I show a preacher, I show anybody. Acts 3.21, right? Which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. And then I show them Romans 16.25, and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery which was kept secret since the world began. If a man is not honest enough to acknowledge that what was spoken since the world began and what was kept secret since the world began is two different things. They're not, they're not honest enough with the word of God for me to take them serious. How can God establish you if you are not honest enough with his word to acknowledge that there's something different between what was kept secret and what was spoken since the world began? The preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery, Kept secret since the world began, but now is made manifest and by the scriptures of the prophets. That's how God's going to establish you. Where does he establish you? First, he establishes you according to Paul's gospel. Then he establishes you according to the revelation of the mystery. That's what happens in Ephesians through Colossians. The hope of that mystery is dealt with, well, it's dealt with all through these epistles, but it's the, it's the specific subject of First and Second Thessalonians and the preaching of Christ according to the scriptures of the prophets is found in Hebrews to the book of Revelation. Amen? Amen. 